Hey there everyone and I hope you followed me up in the last video. In the last video we talked about how we can create our very first component. I hope you enjoyed quite a lot. And this is how we create our component. Now what we'll be doing, we'll be using this syntax. Now how these guys are actually importing the things. For example, if I go into index.js, it says import app from dot slash app. Now we know that there is an app component and it's being defined into uh, app.js. And there we go, we have got app component. Now we want to do almost exactly the same functionality with our header and intro. So how are we are gonna do that? Now the good thing is we have written almost all the code that we require for that. And this is exactly the same code that you write. All you have to do is you have to move, move this component into a separate file and you have to just export the things from there and call the things in here. Okay, sounds good. So there are two steps. Let me just follow along for the header and you're gonna do it for the intro. Of course, I'm gonna be doing for the intro as well, but you got the point. You, I expect you to do the intro before me. So let's just get started. Now let's click on the new, uh, the source, click on right click on that and click on new file. And I'll be calling this as header.js. Make sure that the first letter is caps. That's the convince that we follow up. So we have got header.js, okay. Sounds good. Okay, this looks good. Now, the first thing that you have to do is you have to call the React there. Now, this is the first line in the app.js that we are looking for. So we are importing React and component uh, from the React library itself. So just place the cursor here. Don't select everything, just place it there. Hit Command C, go to your header.js and Command V. So you don't need to select everything. You just have to place your cursor and there we go. So this is our very first thing in the header.js. Okay, now go into the app.js and cut all the things from here that says header. So I'll hit command X to cut that. I'll move into the header.js and I'll paste everything. Okay, sounds good. We have got everything into the header.js but we haven't actually exported anything in here. And if you look at app.js, it says export default. So this is the keyword that we have to put in here. Now there are two ways to do so. Now, one thing is exactly the same as app.js. You can say export default and the name of your component. And let me show you other way as well. There is another way that says export and you can simply say default. Oops, default. So you can either put this into in here, export default class and then, but again, you can see it sounds a little bit clumsy. So I'll move this guy to the bottom just like what we are doing in that. And then I'll name here header and just close a semicolon there. So we'll save that. But again, we are not calling in app.js. So obviously our uh, files are gonna be broken. So it says uh, header is not defined and we are calling it in here. How we can do that? Now, what we have to do, we have to follow the syntax of index.js. It says import app from app. Now we are gonna copy this. We are gonna move to app.js. We are gonna paste it in here. And what we are importing this time? Yep, you got that right. This time we are importing header and we are importing it from header.js. And one good thing is you don't need to write extension.js in here. You simply have to call a simply dot slash header. And if I save that, and notice we have still got a problem. And logo is defined, uh, not defined. So we, are got, we have got some another problem with a logo. Uh, let me just uh, look at that where the problem is, is in the header.js. So we have moved the things uh, in here for the logo and now the path of the things have been shifted. So what I'll be doing is I'll be just cutting this line for a moment. I'll, I'll give you a fix of that later on. Right now our logo is not working, okay? Uh, I'll just hit uh, or I'll show you how to do comment the things because commenting in the things in the react.js is also a little bit different. So how you do that uh, commenting thing, you put a curly brace there, uh, not the closing one. You hit the enter, you put the closing curly brace there and then you can put double slash there to comment this and I'll hit the save there and notice our logo will not be there because there are some issues with the logo. We'll deal them up later on. Right now we are not yet ready to go for that kind of complications, okay? So our goal is to call this uh, component here and we have successfully done that. Okay, now let's do the same thing for exactly the same thing for intro. And I'll give you a quick tips there. Create a new file, move this file in here, 
Then you have to write the top syntax of importing that React and don't forget to export your app. Now come back in here and make sure you import your intro from intro.js. Okay, sounds like plan. Now just go there and do it. Okay, how did that go? I think that goes really that goes really good. So let me just do it in case you missed that. I'll right click on the source, create a new file, and I'll call this as intro.js. Okay. And first of all, what I'll be doing is I'll be importing the React. So I'll copy this and move this React in here. Sounds good. We'll go into the app.js and we'll be moving our intro things in here. So Oops, Command Z. And I actually accidentally, oops, did I did? Oops, I missed it here. So I have to write the header again. Uh, my mistake. I'll copy everything from intro. I'll cut that. Move into the intro.js, paste everything. Next step is to export the defaults. So I'll say export default and the name. Oops. There we go. And the next thing would be, I'll save this. And the next thing would be, before we call this intro in here, and obviously it's it's gonna give us an error as soon as I save the file. And uh, notice the app is there and it says intro is not defined. Okay, it's not defined. It's defined actually, but not being called. So I'll hit uh, c control, I'll hit a command shift and D to duplicate that line. And uh, let's just do one more thing. Click on the R here, just above the R. I'll hit my command key, press that and hit again in here. Now you have got two cursor. Now you can edit at the same time. So I'll write intro there. How cool is that? Save this and this has fixed up everything. Of course, our logo is not fixed in here, but that that is not a big issue right now. We'll fix that quite easily. Not yet. Right now we have learned the two ways of calling the component. Now the first way was quickly create one more class in the same file. The second way, which is much more modular, is by creating new files and moving the components in there. And I think we have messed around quite a lot with this project. So we'll leave this hello world just right there. And we'll talk about the more stuff in the React.js later on. Right now, it's just completely okay to leave it here. And I hope you have enjoyed so far. In case you're enjoying the course, make sure you do leave the ratings there. That's always a good motivation for us. And I'll catch you up in the next video.